Hi everyone, in this new video series here on Soundation, we're recreating iconic songs in our studio to show you how you can achieve the same sounds. Now, there's no denying that the theme song of Stranger Things has become as iconic as the show itself. To mark the new season of the show, we decided to recreate this synth-driven song in Soundation, so you can learn how to make your own 80s-style sci-fi music. This is just a quick walkthrough of the main elements of the track, so you can get a glimpse of how we recreated it in Soundation. But we're giving away the studio project for free, so you can study it in full detail. Just follow the link in the description. We are using some premium features in the project, so to get the full picture, you can use the code STPREMIUM to get one month of Soundation Premium for free. Without further ado, let's get into it. First things first, we're at 84 BPM, and let's take a look at the kick, which is the only drum part in the song. The kick is playing a heartbeat type rhythm. We used the bass drum from Drum Machine with Kit 8 to make it sound more like the original. Just roll off some high frequencies with an EQ. This boost at around 400 to 500 hertz makes it stand out more in the mix. This next part is probably the most recognizable part of the theme, the synth arpeggio. An arpeggio is a chord playing the individual notes. In this case, a C major 7 chord, played up and down repeatedly throughout most of the track. We have two layered VA synths, with different settings to give more dimension to the sound. VA stands for Virtual Analog, and the original uses a lot of vintage analog synths, so this is perfect for a track like this. The filter cutoff is being automated for that growing and evolving sound. They also have some basic EQ and delay to blend and gel with the track. The bass is using two instruments for a full and thick sound, this time a VA synth with the preset analog bass, which has this really nice filter sweep. And GM2 with Chiffer Lead. That's right, a lead for a bass. It has a very full and wide sound, and with some distortion, it really comes to life. And together they sound like this. Here we have a very simple pad that sits like a rug underneath everything. It's being automated to give some tension. In the beginning, there's this little synth parts playing the exact same arpeggio as these, but just twice as fast. It's using the Fantasia preset with some delay and reverb to give more atmosphere and an automated filter to make it sound more gentle. Here are two more synths that are playing the same melody at different times. This one is using the synth voice preset with added filter and reverb. And this one started off as synth strings too, but with some change settings. I'm not going into detail on the rest of the synths, but I recommend that you get the project and have a look for yourself. And lastly, down here we have some sound effects from the sound library to give the track its cinematic energy. We have some metallic, noisy, sweeping, spacey, and impactful sounds. We are even using the applause preset in GM2 for an impact. Unconventional sounds can be very helpful in creating something that feels unique and special. I'll play you the full track, but don't forget to check out the Soundation project file in the link below. Maybe do a remix or recreate it yourself. And also, let us know what song you want us to recreate next.